Welcome back to another Old Timer Centre video. I hope you'll stay with us a little bit longer today because uh, this is a very, very special car and it's going to take a little time to explain to you all the features on it. This is a C215 CL500. The C215 is the chassis variant and it's what the Mercedes calls it in-house. It's basically an S-Class Coupe. It's a derivation of the W220 S-Class. And it's the Mercedes flagship coupe of the time. This is one of the last of the series. It's a 2006. It was replaced in 2007. And again, this would be one of the lowest kilometre examples on the market at the current time. Very rare car, incredibly expensive. Somewhere around the late twos, early threes, depending on options. So again, it's known as a CL500. And this particular model is finished in Obsidian, which is Mercedes color name for this particular black, over cream parchment leather. It's in excellent order, having travelled just 47,000 documented kilometres from new. And I'm just going to cover some of the features for you now. To start, you might think ingress and egress out of this car is difficult, and it has huge doors, but they don't open very far because they actually move forward. So if you're in tight parks, the door actually goes forward instead of out. Maybe it'll be easy to show you from this side. It's just one of the very special features on this car. We've got a very large boot, and it is all automated. So you just touch the button, and it will open up for you. Plenty of space for golf clubs full-size spare, all tools, original, even, you've even got spare fuses here, it's un completely uncompromised. God forbid you should get dirty hands while changing a tyre. Not with the Mercedes CL. Push this button and then the boot comes closed and it is a bit like a guillotine so you've got to get out of the way. Rear passengers are afforded every luxury as well. It is a very large four-seater. Although it's only a coupe, you simply pull this lever and the seat will slide forward automatically. So your input is minimal. These little perforations here and here are for the front ventilated seats. It's a wonderful option. So it's, it's a fan force breeze blowing onto your back and your bottom on hot days and then of course you've got heated seats as well not to mention massage seats so you can have <clears throat> a massage while you drive along and that's operated through the air bladders in the chair I'll start it up for you now and show you some of the interior features First thing you notice when you hop in is just how comfortable, soft and plush the seats are. As you can see there, 47,224 original case. And it's just a privilege to be in something so special. It fires right up, of course. Put the windows up. I've got the air conditioning on ice cold. Here we've got the updated nav unit. Down a little bit so you can hear me. So here we've got you can have the ability to connect your phone via Bluetooth. You just need to buy a little adapter. You've got video, it needs tuning, navigation, telephone, map of the area, all your radios and CDs. If you want to put one in, simply press that and the screen slides up. Here we've got some even more impressive options. This little button here, that operates the rear sunshade. If you don't want your rear passengers 
getting burnt. This little button here, wait for it to focus, ABC Sport. When I press that, that firms up the shocks for more spirited driving. When I turn it off, it goes back to comfort. This is a two-stage air suspension and it will raise the vehicle. You can feel it going up at the moment. If you need to clear a dirt road or some speed humps, this is a fun little feature here. I'll just show you again. Press it and down go the rear headrests. Dual zone climate control, of course. This is a charcoal filtrant as well because uh, you only want to be breathing pure air in your Mercedes. Automatically adjustable wood grain steering wheel, speed limiter, cruise control. Got that wonderful Mercedes Benz touch shift automatic, and you can turn the engine on and off by pushing the top. Large glove box. cup holders and again here's those ventilated seats and heated seats obviously power every which way I'll give it a bit of a rev for you now I wouldn't be surprised if you can't hear much because it is very quiet in here excuse me <clears throat> the phone's ringing they can wait. <clears throat> Again, we've got a superb Bose sound system. These lovely kick guards just tells you you're getting into something very special. Original floor mats. I'm going to pop the bonnet for you now. Under here, the heart of the beast, the 5 litre Mercedes V8. It's good for about 315 horsepower from memory. Loads of torque. And of course, having travelled just 47,000 Ks, this is in excellent shape. It's a little bit dusty, but it looks brand new. You've got all your Mercedes Benz tagging and stickers, it's all uncompromised. Even the washer fluid bottle is unyellowed. If you're after a very special grand touring coupe, this would be the best one for sale in the country, bar none. I don't know of another with 47,000 Ks on it in this generation. Now. If you have any questions on it, www.old.com.au for all our contact details. This is not an opportunity to be missed. For what we're asking for this car on its original price, it's, uh, well, I mean, I don't understand why you'd go out and buy a new Mazda or something when you could have a piece of engineering like this. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for staying with us and watching. I hope we've covered some of the interesting features here. There's many more. But it'd take me all day to go through them.